Good evening. The time is 9.52 p.m. The news headline. Bandits invade college in Katsina. Do not welcome Buhari to Imo State. Reno. According to Sahara reporters, it was disclosed that government suspected to be Fulani headsmen on Tuesday attacked Isa Kaita College of Education in Dutsima, Katsino State. It was gathered that the bandits who stormed the school in large number kidnapped the children of Ismail Ado Funchia, the deputy provost of the school, and furthermore, the bandits were said to have stormed the hostels of the school children and abducted the deputy provost's children while leaving others behind. Reno Mockery, the social political activist, has therefore expressed his concern over the visit of President Muhammad Buhari to Imo State, according to reports that the activist warned that citizens should not uh, welcome the president to the state. And the news analysis is as simple that uh, following the news that President Muhammad Buhari wants to visit Imo State, and yet there have been opera going on in the country where Fulani bandits were said to have stormed hostels of his school uh, where they kidnapped children of Ismail Ado Funchia and the deputy provost of the school. And as a result of this, Reno Mokri has, adv adv has advised that citizens of the country and even the state of Imo should not allow President Muhammad Buhari to come to the state. And this also connotes with the IPOP, where they have ordered a seat at home order that every uh, resident of Imo state should sit at home on the day that Buhari will be visiting their state and should not allow uh, Buhari to enter into Imo state. As the Chika Idozim that stated this on Monday that uh, uh, all traditional rulers, all Indian Che and every Biafran should stay away from any ceremony organized by Hope Uzodima to welcome him. IPOP equally declared total lockdown of Biafra on that day. Sahara reporters had on Saturday reported that the Imo state governor Up Izodima disclosed that President Buhari would visit the state on Thursday. The governor had made the disclosure at some Imbankwe International Cargo Airport in Uwe. Uzodima had started his trip to Abuja was to address uh, some political matters and some critical issues. Uzodima had announced that the president would commission significant projects while in Imo. He had listed roads constructed through federal government World Bank intervention and Nigeria Erosion and Watershed Management NUMA project. Imo has been able to attract additional support from Mr. President on the management of some ecological problems in the state, he, had, he said. On the Anambra election, Uzodima had predicted that the All Progressive Congress would emerge victorious. Those who support the party at the center will get both their rights and their privileges, he had added. And this is the news headline that the IPOP has rejected that the September 9, 2021 visit of Buhari is not welcome into Imo State and therefore a seat at home order has been declared and total lockdown of Biafra on that day whereby uh, the IPOP initially there was a seat at home order in all southeast uh, zones or like southeast region until the uh, IPOP leader Mazenam Dikanu who has been apprehended in the DSS facility for quite a while now uh, until he's released, the IPOP has said that they would continue to make sure that uh, everyone who are residents of the Southeast regions would comply to the seat at home order, although it was quite suspended for quite some time uh, because of the NECO uh, and also some other things like that. But yet, they have said that it was only a suspension and that they will resume. And again, since the president of the country has decided to visit Imo State, uh, they have said that there the, the, the would be a seat at home order on that very day, as they do not want him to step on their soil. Governor Opuzadema of Imo State says that all is set for President Muhammadu Buhari visit to the state on Thursday, September 9. The governor disclosed this while addressing newsmen 
at Sami Bakui International Cargo Airport Uwiri on a Saturday. We are Usodima, who spoke upon his return from an official trip to the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, where he said that the president would commission some significant projects executed by his administration. The governor also said that he visited Abuja to address some political matters and some critical issues that are supposed to be handled in Abuja. He listed the issues to include getting the federal government assistance on the World, Pro World Bank programs on rural roads, ecological pro uh, programs, the uh, Nigerian erosion and watershed management, which is new map projects and other erosion control issues. While in Abuja, uh, he secured the approval for President Muhammad Buhari to visit Imo on Thursday, September 9, to commission some significant projects put together by the Shared Prosperity Administration. More to that, Imo has been able to attract additional support from Mr. President on management of some ecological problems in the state, he said. And speaking on his assignments as the chairman, all Progressive Congress APC campaign council for the Anambra governorship election, Uzodima acknowledged the importance of the responsibility trust on him by the party, where the governor assured that he was doing his best to disseminate the message of what the people stand to gain should they vote in the APC in November 6 election. He therefore called on all people of Anambra and Southeast in general to align with the APC, adding that those who support the party at the center will get both their rights and privileges. And you know, with respect to this visit uh, by President Muhammad Buhari to Imo State, there have been writers who have said that there are two things that the people of Imo need to uh, prepare ahead of time to uh, make known to President Muhammad Buhari. And that the number one is that they need to, uh, you know, let him know that uh, the security issues in the country is uh, needs attention and that uh, there is need for him to, you know, further assist uh, their, the, the region in terms of security to help them resolve it. Uh, as per military has been there, uh, security agencies have been deployed to stop the rising uh, security challenges that have been facing in most states, and they believe that uh, his presence should be able to resolve that. And that number two, as per the Southeast uh, presidency, uh, you know, the Southeast being, uh, it's, it's being uh, considered for the presidency in 2023, that it would be a very good opportunity for the people of Imo to, you know, speak out their And the analysis is quite as simple, that despite the fact that uh, there is need for President Muhammad Buhari to visit Imo State to check on what is going, uh, the IPOB have said no, that they do not want him, and that everybody should sit at home that day. And Ren Wamokri as well, the social political activist, has expressed his concern over the visit of the, uh, to Imo State, considering all happening in the state. And he has said that the commuters and the residents of Imo State should deny President uh, Muhammad Buhari from entering into Imo State. Time is 9.55 p.m. Good evening. Thanks for listening.